Andy Shepard, take it away. The following fight is scheduled for three rounds of action in the middleweight division. And the winner will be awarded the Super Belt. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner and representing Bellator. He is a wrestling specialist and stands six feet one inches tall. He weighed in officially at 185 and one half pounds and holds a perfect undefeated record of 17 victories and no defeats. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida by way of Kansas City, Missouri. He is the reigning Bellator middleweight champion, Johnny Pressure. Fighting out of the red corner and representing PFL. He is a striking specialist and stands six feet tall. He weighed in officially at 185.8 pounds and holds a record of 15 wins and three losses. Fighting out of Deerfield Beach, Florida. He is the 2023 PFL Light Heavyweight Champion, Chilobo Impa. Referee Charles Brian Miner. Brian Miner oversees the co main event action. Shilobo Impa Kasunganai in the yellow trunks. Johnny, you ready? Impa, you ready? Johnny Evelyn in the white. Right to the center of the smart cage. Two incredibly fast fighters here. Kasunganai coming back down to middleweight. Drives behind a hard right hand. Evelyn stays out of the way. Inside kick. The thing I like about the way that Kasanganai moves forward is as he's punching left to right, he's bringing his feet with him, which means that when people level change, they level change onto square hips, making it a lot more difficult. Oh, that's a nice single leg. Look at that. Single leg and turn to the corner. <laughs> Look at that. Evelyn, heavy on the legs. But let's see what Impa's gonna do here, guys. As, as something tells me he's gonna do whatever effort and work as hard as it takes to get back up to his feet. And that, that does change things. A wrestler's gotta have a couple of moments on top just to catch his breath. And this is something that was so interesting about his championship bout. Impa Kasungan, I was able to defend these takedown attempts. Now, it was Josh Silvera, not Johnny Evelyn, but he defended them and never really got fatigued, never got worn out by it and continued to explode in these situations. There he works back to an underhook and goes chest to chest. He's not all the way out of trouble yet, but he's on his feet. Notice this frame. Everything's right here. Everything's right here by Impa. He did a great job there of digging that underhook back into place. You always want to be facing Johnny Eblin if you have to clinch the guy, because as soon as he gets that body lock from behind, you're going for a ride. Oh, that was a good knee. And Impa's not rattled. He's not. He's not discouraged. He's already put that behind him and compartmentalized. I can see it on his face and by his eyes. I can't imagine the situation where Impa Kasang and I would show it. <laughs> Any kind of emotion on his face like he's rattled. Now he's a very, Yeah, beautiful movement. A very calculated, intelligent, quietly spoken individual. Knows how to hide his cards very well. Impa did eat a couple of elbows in that scenario. Johnny said that would be part of his game plan as he switches stances and avoids the combination from Impa. Now, the danger from Evelyn now is that because, because Kasang and I has had to go through that process of getting back to his feet, the threat of the takedown could really open up strikes for Evelyn. Good length on that Evelyn jab. He goes back downstairs with a leg kick. Impa's already slowed some of the bouncing of his posture here. Nice overhand. And we've seen this theme earlier tonight. The offense from Evelyn right now, stymieing some of that offense. We finally see Impa able to unleash a combination. But when you force a fighter to stay on the defensive, you don't have as much to worry about coming back. Front kick almost to the forehead there of Evelyn. That was a beautiful little step to the side from Kasanganai. Nice right hand. I wonder what the lasting impression in Johnny Evelyn's mind was of that first clinch, that moment. Did he think, my goodness, this man's incredibly strong, very difficult to control? 
Well, one of the things that we talked about with Johnny Eblen in the fighter meetings is that his cardio is so incredible, and he will pressure you until you break. I mean, his nickname is Pressure. But Impa Kasunganai appears to have removed that as a possibility these last couple of fights with the level of conditioning he's come into the cage with. So what happens if Johnny Evelyn is trying to wear you out and he's not able to? We might find that out tonight. Nice jab from Impa. And sometimes athletes at this level of conditioning require the 25 minutes to make fatigue a weapon. In 15 minutes, I don't know as either of these guys are gonna get tired. I think Johnny did come away with some respect for Impa's grappling. I don't know that he's going to clinch him or be in a hurry to exert that kind of energy if he feels he can get some moments right here in a pick -em contest. Twice now we've seen Impa catch Johnny coming in with hooks. Once with the right hand on the sidestep, just then on the left hand. Both fighters starting to get reads off one another. Second time we've seen him try that yes. front kick right up the middle, Dan. And that's a great deterrent for a level change as well. We remember what Hennen Fajeda did to Jones as he level changed onto that shin bone. Good head movement as well by, by Kasanganai. Oh, that was a good cross. Beautiful right hand there from Johnny Evelyn. Good level change underneath the jab there from Impa. Impa's starting to get comfortable, fellas. Yeah, he's, he's starting to loosen up a little bit. He really is. That was Beautiful nice body, body shot. shot, straight right. Uppercut, traded for a right hand. Hey, Impa's about to steal this round. Johnny's got about 10 seconds here to do something fast and leave, and leave with the judges. Nice check hook again. Impa now with the pressure. And then he turns that angle. Flying knee attempt there from Impa. Impa Kasunganai, Johnny Eblen, round number two, body kick, and then a combination from Impa, who comes out much more aggressive here in the second frame. Oh, the combination! Impa drops Eblen! Eblen trying to wrestle out of it here, grabs onto that single leg. Impa heavy on the sprawl, got that chin strap. Got to free himself from that body lock, though. Eblen's still dangerous even when he's rocked. Beautiful. Oh. Impa with another cut. Oh, what an uppercut. Finished with the uppercut, and now he's got the neck of Johnny Eblen and is cranking. Impa Kasunganai, furious start to round two. Wobbles Eblen. He's got Eblen on the back foot here early. Beautiful slip to a body shot. Nice level change by Evelyn, though. This is going to buy him a moment. But if Kasang and I can get free here, that could really shake the confidence of the undefeated fighter. Remember, elbows are allowed here, so Johnny Evelyn's going to have to be careful about keeping his head out on the side. Impa tried the flying knee as deterrent to this wrestle. Little Uriah Faber knee there. This is exhausting as well. And look at look at Eblin's toes. He's only just postured into a position where he could start to now be offensive. And look at the way that his chest is heaving as his body. I mean, that's not a good wrestling posture. Impa Kasunganai staying heavy on the head, making Johnny Eblin carry that weight. And he steps out of another attempt here. Oh. Combination. Impa hammering away. Eats an elbow from Eblin, but they continue to swing against the smart cage barrier before clinching. Impa's fought at 205 pounds and had a lot of success. We're seeing that size. We're seeing that strength right now. We're also seeing that the fatigue of the weight cut is behind him. This is a guy that did everything right. It was a clubbing right hand from Johnny Edlin that came over the top there. He's back in on the legs, but again, he's not in an offensive posture. He's in a hold on and gather my senses posture right now. And if Kasang and I can start to use some of these chopping elbows, these Travis Brown elbows into the side of the head, that could really force Evelyn to start to move. Elevation here. Johnny Evelyn got both feet off the ground for Impa for just a second, but there's that shopping elbow again. Evelyn is very good at buying himself a little bit of space, framing out and hammering that into the side of his opponent's head. Appears to have recovered from whatever punching combinations landed and maybe wobbled Evelyn a little bit early as we're halfway through round number two. And halfway through the round, right in the middle of the, of the fight here. So we go back to what uh, Mr. Sonnen was saying a moment ago. If Kasangane won the end of that last round and stole it on the scorecards, what is this round looking like on the scorecards as well? I know, of course, he's in a, a defensive position here, but very little uh, scoring is being done by Evelyn. 
Johnny loves that suplex, if it can't give him the belly to back, and he knows it, trying to grab a Kimura grip on Johnny Evelyn's left arm. My biggest comment to what we're seeing right now by Evelyn is good for him. He did not get frustrated with the takedown. Even though he hasn't done a lot to secure them, he's going back to them. He's going back to what he knows well. He's trying to win this fight. And you see, many guys, they check out early. Evelyn is still in this contest. Absolutely. He's not undefeated for a reason. He's he knows how to win fights, even when he's on the back foot like he was against Fabian Edwards. He knows how to recover. This is not a good position for Imper. He could potentially be caught in a twister here. I know we don't see them very often, but Evelyn's got the right control on that, that right wrist of Imper Kasangane. Imper's gonna try and get his left hip elevated. Johnny Evelyn rides over. And the thing is, this marauding, mauling style that Evelyn's got, you don't even have to be fully conscious to be able to do it. He's working on instinct a lot of the time here. One minute left in round number two. A very interesting frame so far. Can Evelyn use this last minute to really score some points? Because the early part of this round was all Impa Kasunganai, who's just going for the lockdown here with those arms. Do you get the feeling that Kasanga and I feels like he's done enough already to win this round? Well, you can't ever feel that way, but maybe conserving some energy because, look, we're seeing him. The mouth is actually open. He actually is breathing hard here as Johnny Evelyn advances position and goes to work with his left hand. Yes, keep doing that. Yes, And it's interesting math, isn't it? Whether he thinks he's done enough and that's why he's conserving, or if he realizes, I've got to win the next one and therefore I need to conserve. That's so why it's always interesting to hear the corner speak in between rounds. What an incredible recovery from Johnny Eblen in the second part of that round. But again, round three. was it enough three, right. to sway the judges in his favor after being knocked down? Third and final round here, PFL versus slim. Bellator champs. Impaka Sangenai. He keeps doing that. Evelyn standing from a southpaw stance. He's throwing a big left hand, and Kasangana is weaving underneath it and cracking him in the head with a counter shot. And look at the recovery from Impa. Mouth is closed again, breathing through his nose. He sees the swelling under Johnny Evelyn's eye. He sees the heavy legs. Nice jab, good movement there from Impa to stay out of range. Really impressive performance from both of these fighters, and that's exactly what we thought we would see. I would be so curious amongst the athletes how they think the fight is going. Does Evelyn believe he needs this? Does Impa believe he needs this? Are we trying to beat each other still, or are we just trying to run out the clock? It's very interesting to me, the psychological side going on in this match right now. We saw Impa Kasunganai in our PFL 2023 season. His left hook is a formidable weapon, and he's landed it several times on Johnny Evelyn, who wears it and continues to come forward. Leg kick there, traded for a couple punches though. Might not be the winning formula for Impa Kasunganai this late in the fight. He left his head on the center line for that calf kick. I feel like he came off on the worst end of that, especially on the judge's perspective. Sweeping right hand landed there for Eblen. Eblen still bringing his feet with him when he throws those punches. Nasty oh. combination here from Eblen. That's punch uh, for Eblen so far of the fight. Good jab. Impa is not fighting with an urgency. There's two reasons why. Po possibly he's fatigued and can't. Possibly he thinks he's up two rounds to none. I'm, I'm only sharing that with you because it could be at any moment now Impa puts his foot down and tries to steal some points, but he hasn't done it this round yet. He went for the body shot there with the uppercut. Johnny made him pay with a left hook. Both men scoring in these combinations and these exchanges. Nice movement there. Good slip and rip from Impa Kasunganai. Look at the right eye of Johnny Evelyn. Jousting jab from Evelyn and right hand behind it this time. This is a much better round for Evelyn, this is. Even though he's taking some shots moving forward, he is scoring and he is bullying Impa Kasunganai at the moment with pace. That left hand snug through. Now Impa offers one back and circles out. Impa on the back foot right now, Johnny Evelyn. This is the pressure that he talked about. Yeah, you're seeing that conditioning. You can see it on his face. You can see it by the way he's breathing. Evelyn is back into the contest. 
More than halfway through the round, right around two minutes left. I love that rollout that he's doing underneath the right hand. He's used it several times already in this fight. Big John McCarthy, rules expert, legend in the game, has great insight on how these fights are supposed to be scored. John McCarthy, who's winning this fight right now? I'll tell you what, this fight is anybody's fight right now. You can sit there and say, if a hurt Johnny in the second round, I'm gonna give him that right. I don't care how much Johnny did in coming back, but the first round I was gonna give to Johnny Evelyn. So right now, this is anybody's fight. And a huge takedown here with 90 seconds remaining in round number three in a razor close fight. The wrestling for Evelyn really comes into play, controlling that bottom leg of Impa Kasunganai. He's gotta find a way to get that back to the mat if he wants to stand up. Wimpen was even thinking reversal there. He tried to pull those hips on top. I think he tried to tried to boss that a little bit too much. Too much power. This is much better, but he has given his back. He needs to get that left elbow inside the crook of Johnny Evelyn's elbow and turn to face him. Oh, Bobby right. Lock here from Johnny Eblen. And now you can see the fatigue on Impa's face. Eblen going for the choke late. Sanganai looks like he's safe, but he's still not a good position to be in from a scoring perspective. And as you said, Chelsea, there's no real urgency from Impa this round. Evelyn's got himself into a very good position. You know, the fence is such an interesting component to this sport, by the way. It will always help one guy, it will always hinder one guy. But it all depends on the position. They can trade that fence back and forth. A late surge here from Johnny Evelyn with the right eye swollen shut, showing you why he is an undefeated mixed martial artist. If the flailing away, couple of elbows landed there for Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Ben Carter did score this about 29-28 for Evelyn. Judge Mark Collett scored about 29-28 for Kasunganai. And Judge Mohammed Hadid scores about 29-28 for your winner via split decision. Johnny Evelyn! Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with your winner, Johnny Evelyn, still undefeated, Bellator champ, the super champ as well. He's got the belt with the ring and everything. Tell me about that fight. Hey, man, it was a close fight. Second round, he caught me, and I had to fucking show up and be a champion. So it is what it is, but sometimes you're going to get knocked down in life, and you got to fucking get back up and get back in there and fucking win it. And in that second round where you were taking a few shots, what was going through your mind? Because you were trying to clear your head on the fence, it seemed. Honestly, I was just surviving for a little bit. He caught me pretty good, so I was gathering my wits, and then I was back to dominating the fight. And talk to me about this beautiful belt. It's got a ring on it. Have you ever had a belt with a ring before? Never. And uh, this is going to hold a special place in my heart, man. This was a tough-ass fight. I'm in fucking Saudi Arabia. Thank you, guys. You guys are amazing. And fighting in the middle of the desert, outside, different time zone. Man, this is crazy, bro. I can't believe I'm here right now. Congratulations, my friend. That was a fantastic performance. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the super champ, Johnny Evelyn!